Welcome to a UI Pass Espresso Chat with Carsten Langhammer, Head of Competence Center IPA at Gotha Financial Holding AG. Hi, Carsten. Hi there. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to have you here to be here. <laughs> Carsten, um, in 2016, you got already introduced to the subject of RPA at a large international insurer and over the years really become quite an expert in this field. Already during your studies of business informatics, you then took over the position of Head of Competence Center RPA at Gotha Versicherung Insurance as well. So there you are now responsible for the coordination and scaling of all RPA activities within the Gotha Group. Thank you for being with us here today. Carsten, um, could you please introduce a little bit Gotha Versicherung to our audience? Of course. Uh, as you said, the Gotha Insurance Company is uh, one of Germany's largest insurance companies. We have over 4 million members. And um, what's very special is that we are a mutual insurance company. That means that our customers are our members instead. And um, yeah, we offer various insurance products with a very large spread. And um, hopefully, um, you now hear from, uh, from us all over the world. <laughs> That's for sure, as you are in the Reboot Work Festival. So <laughs> how did your company come to the topic of RPA, AI and automation? Where did the journey start? The, the journey started in 2018, where um, a multidisciplinary group, uh, which formed a project in our company, thought, okay, we have so many um, stuff to do and um, all of our workers are going through heavy times of a uh, large amount of work um, being delayed. And um, we wanted to find a solution to help them to help themselves and to automate their processes. And um, we wanted something that can be taken into production very quickly and very fast with, an, uh, with a very low code engine somehow. And um, then we figured it out, okay, there is RPA, so let's check uh, which companies are there, which solutions do they offer. And um, we checked over 20 companies and software solutions and um, we finally got uh, to UiPath which was our, yeah, at least our most favorite one. And um, then we tried it, we, um, yeah, we started it off and it was a full success. And um, now we are uh, going into our third year with UiPath and it also continues. So time to market being fast with bringing a solution to, to the employees um, were one of the points which, which uh, attracted you to RPA, if I understand correctly. So can you tell us a little bit about the results which are visible now and maybe also about changes which have taken place during um, your automation journey at Gotha? Of course. Like I said, we started off in a um, project team which was stuffed from uh, various departments and um, we then uh, enveloped uh, into a uh, governmental structure, uh, which we call the hybrid model. And um, it takes place that we have a center of competence, which is my team. We are in a central uh, governmental point and um, we offer all of our services um, in the RPA sector internally to our um, other departments. So all of our developers are in the business departments. So they are very, very close to the original processes and they are already the professionals for each process because they are the workers who usually do this. And um, this is um, the most yeah, interesting part uh, of it. And um, it's developed over the years uh, into that uh, governmental structure and um, it is held together by a community we formed internally because maybe many of you know it from your own companies 
you have like each department is thinking especially for themselves and we wanted to connect this and we wanted to connect it um, over the whole group and um, i think we are very successful with that so um, every one of the departments is um, sharing their knowledges sharing their, ex their experiences with rpa and with uapa um, this is uh, very very important um, for the forwarding of the whole group yeah, I think the, the community is something which UiPath has always been really emphasizing with and uh, yeah. we're seeing it with, with customers. That's that's an important part. It's it's the sharing of, for example, one department has already um, developed, sharing it with other um, departments, taking this point and just, you know, adapting it and then make it use for your processes. So I think that's an important part and uh, makes it so, so worse um, to really um, distribute everything about RPA within a company and, and to, to create this um, intercompany community. What are the next steps in your automation journey? Where do you want to go next now? So uh, it's all about scaling uh, at us. So we are thinking, okay, we first focused on, um, on some robots that provide a whole group, a whole department with um, their work. And um, now we are trying to move on to uh, one robot for each worker uh, solution. And um, this is something we are now um, heading towards. Um, I'm usually trying to compare it to the private sector. So I, for my own, I use some smart assistants. You all know the names, maybe from Amazon, maybe from Apple or something else. And um, I think we need that in the business sector as well. And this is where UiPath and the robots are taking place. So we have our workers and they get a digital assistance right next to them, like a colleague who always helps them. Maybe you can call it somehow like an, an intern who is just there for you and your belongings. And um, yeah, they are trying to, um, we are trying to implement it in every department now. And um, I think 2021 will be a very important year for that. And um, hopefully in 2022, uh, we can um, tell you all how that worked out. And um, I'm looking forward to um, report that to you. Great, I'm making a note about this to interview again at this point in time, because that's going to be really <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Carsten, thank you very much for your time today. Have a fantastic ongoing journey into a prosperous future and to become a robot for every person enterprise in 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sabine. Thank you for having me here. It was a pleasure. And um, yeah, thank you all.